Well, are you like me? Do you have lots of deer, deer herds in your area that you live? If you do, do they tear up your property like they do mine? Well guys, I'm here to tell you, hopefully I'm going to show you a bunch of tips on how you can uh, repair some of the damage that they've done. Let me uh, show you what I've got and then I'll show you the process that I do to uh, try to keep from losing my trees. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got something that just frustrates me to no end. Uh, early fall, one of our nurseries up the road, a uh, gentleman I've known for years was retiring. Uh, he's already sold off the business, but he's working on clearing out all of his inventory, so obviously he was running some great sales. Was able to buy uh, trees for 40 and 50% discount, so I had a few areas that I wanted to plant, and this one is one of them and i wanted to put a tree but uh, kind of split it between this tree here and my bridge over here and so i did it was doing fantastic here we are now into late fall and i've had a deer almost uh, try to destroy this tree uh, i'm hoping i can fix this but number one not only has he compromised the root system by almost pushing it over but you can see here he has pretty much uh, gotten rid of uh, just rubbed all the bark off this is obviously the bucks that are doing this they take their uh, antlers and they come in and they do this and they just rub them down to nothing anyway there is a product i'll show it to you uh, the one thing you want to do is you want to keep this tree from going into shock it's obviously you know had its outer uh, bark ripped completely off there's a coating that you can put on this that will help calm the tree down and protect it so the first thing i'm going to do is put that product on here and so guys this product is called tree wound dressing uh, i actually uh, looked it up got a little information i found this on amazon it wasn't very expensive and so i went ahead and purchased some of this uh, i would highly recommend uh, use some throwaway gloves the reason being is this stuff it does not want to come off your fingers when you try to go wash it off so anyway this it looks just like a pudding and i usually just kind of apply it very liberally and you just put it on here like so and once it dries on there it is on there i've had to do this so far to about four of the eight trees that i planted and uh I was so frustrated when I came home last night from work and saw that he had got all into this one. Put it on very liberally. Um, you know, it's going to dry and just perform a, uh, do a protective coating. There we go. Not rocket scientist, but it sure hopefully will help save this tree. All right, the next thing I want to do since he's compromised the root base so bad, I want to stabilize this because we're going to be dealing with the winds and everything through the bad weather months. And so just want to give this some help. So I'm going to put a stake in the ground. Something new that I'm trying this year so far, it has worked really great to keep the deers to leave it alone. I would appreciate any comments if any of you guys have run into things, what did you put around your trees to protect them? Uh, I thought this looked nice and so far uh, the deer have not messed with the ones that I put this on. Uh, I don't know if it's kind of throwing them for a curve, but they have. I, have, I see no tears, no where they've been in trying to root on this at all. So anyway, let me put this on now. Okay, obviously the last thing I'm going to do to stabilize this is I'm going to tie wrap it to the stake, give it the support it needs, so hopefully it can uh, get back reestablished with the root base and can handle the wind and all. Okay guys, I sure hope that helps uh, with this guy 
and I hope you guys have enjoyed the tech tip. I hope uh, maybe that'll help with problems that you're having. And again, I welcome any comments that you guys want to throw in. Uh, if you've ran into this before, I'd love to hear what you have got uh, going on that you've done to fix your problems with deer and other animals that are tearing up the trees. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.